Hi everybody, it's Susan from Education Closet and today I'm going to give you a quick make and take interactive tutorial on how to create a um, lesson on the art and science of snow using Buncee. One of the really cool things we're excited about with the upcoming online STEAM conference is this opportunity to provide you with these make and take sessions. We have partnered with some really cool uh, technology and um, arts organizations to bring you these make and takes. And essentially, you'll be able to create your own lessons, create your own worksheets, create your own um, tools to kind of take your lessons to that next step. And Buncee is one of these organizations, so I kind of wanted to give you a preview of what one of these make and take sessions looks like. Um, down below, you'll be able to see an image of one of the creations that I did through Buncee where you can create a fully developed lesson in three slides for your students to use. And you can either use it together as a class or you can use it as part of a choice-based uh, center or area for your students, all on the art and science of snow. So really pulling those two pieces together. And in those slides are interactive um, viewing of the Brooklyn Museum and interactives with the science of snow and also students being able to create their own snowflake uh, online right from within this interactive module that you create. So today I'm going to show you how to do that in six minutes. Together, you and I are going to create this um, interactive module that you can use in your class, and it'll take about 45 minutes. So it's one full lesson using Buncee, and um, it literally in six minutes. Planning time is so critical right now, and especially in these next three weeks, that um, I know that your time is valuable. So six minutes to create that fully developed lesson plan, you should be good to go. All right, here we go. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you're going to go to edu.buncy.com, set yourself up with a free account, takes literally two seconds, it's not a big deal, just type in your name, your school, all of that cool stuff, and you'll be able to get a, bed, a Buncy account. Um, with your Buncee account, you get classroom access, you get students access, so your students can create and you can create. So if you want to pause this just to create your account, go ahead, that doesn't count towards my five minutes. Here we go. Um, once you've got that done, you get this blank digital canvas. All right, so one of the things that I'm gonna do is just add a quick background. And I like Buncee's backgrounds. Um, you can upload your own. They have a lot of flexibility. But I'm gonna go ahead and just pick one of these. I'm gonna pick this blue one and drag it into the canvas. Super simple. And then um, I'm gonna title it. I, I need some text on here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some new text, uh, the art and science, and I'm going to add snow in a different font. So I'm just going to highlight that and come over here to the font and click on railway. I like railway a lot. Um, let's see. I like that. Um, and I might bold it. There we go. All right, and I'm going to add snow in a different font. So I'm going to drag that away from the art and science because I think it gets lost if I don't. And I'm just going to type in snow. I'm going to choose a different font for something fun. So I'm going to go with Sacramento, and I'm going to make that much bigger. Um, and then I can drag that just by clicking on it. It's a click and drag. See how easy this is? Your kids are going to love this. All right, so I've got my text, my first screen. Now I'm going to add um, an, an animation. I want to have some snow. And there's lots of things you can choose here. Um, you can kind of get overwhelmed sometimes. I mean, but how cool is this? A little fireplace, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to choose, though, um, this little snowflake guy right here. And I'm going to have him float down and you can change where he floats or the direction just by pulling this um, and I'm gonna have him just be right over the art and science of snow part just very subtle um, if I want to see my layers I can I can just go to show layers and I can see each of them here 
Um, and then I'm gonna, I wanna add something here. So the first part of what we're doing is actually um, taking a look at some artistic prints because I'm gonna start with the art of snow. So I'm gonna go down here into EDU resources and they use Guru Learning, which I love Guru. We submit a lot of things to Guru um, for arts integration. So when you go and search there, you can find arts integration lessons from uh, Education Closet through Guru, but it's an open resource. So you can click on anything. If you type in snow, a bunch of things on snow is gonna come up. And I really like this snow scene from the Brooklyn Museum. You can always preview it. You can preview anything and then decide whether or not you like it. I already know that I like this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and insert that. And when you do that, you can click and drag it just like everything else. What this does is it creates an interactive um, snow scene that you can take a look at the prints from the Brooklyn Museum and kind of go through them on an individual or as a class basis. Now I'm gonna ask three important questions that I love to use when taking a look at art. What do you see? What do you think? What do you wonder? And then I'm just going to copy that as well because it's going on to my next slide. I'm gonna add a new slide, do the exact same background so I've got some consistency. I'm gonna paste those questions right here. And then I'm gonna add a new resource. I wanna go back and look for snow again, but I'm gonna look at collections. And I'm gonna take a look at the science of snow and just add that in here as a collection. I can move my text around if I want, but I kind of like it right where it is. It's kind of hidden. And then I can add another slide in the background, add the background again, and I can go back and add one more piece Right. And I can go into snow, I can look, take a look for snow again, and this time I can look for an interactive. And I can take a look at anything, how to create a snowflake, uh, climate change, anything that I can think of. Um, let's take a look. Snowflake. I can insert that and have my students actually create a snowflake. And then once you're all done, you can preview this at any time. Um, you can go in and view all of these. So I could take a look right there on my screen at the image from the Brooklyn Museum. But let's say I want my students to actually take a look at a bunch of things with snow. I can have them search right from there, snow, and I might wanna take a look at Courier and Ives maybe connect this to a music lesson as well. It's right there. So I can guide my students through this interactive piece. When I switch over, I can go into the science of snow and there's a bunch of resources that have already been curated. I've got key vocabulary there. I can learn about the chemistry of snowflakes, how they form, any of that. And then I can come in here and have and my students make their own snowflakes. So I have the interactive piece already built in. All right, there you go. How easy was that? Hopefully you'll be able to go back to this however many times you need to be able to create that um, interactive lesson for your students that kind of takes their excitement from the season and partners it with real learning um, so that you can have a less stressful three weeks before holiday break. If you haven't already signed up for the STEAM conference, I really encourage you to do so. We're gonna be doing a lot of these mini make and take sessions throughout the day. Uh, and the companies that we're partnering with, like Buncee, are providing exclusive discounts and freebies of their products so that you can go ahead and use them and try them out and see what's gonna work for your classroom. Um, everybody at our conference who registers receives a Tinker Kit, whether it's a digital version or a mailed version, so that you are able to play with these tools just like you were today. 
I wish you the best week possible. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Feel free to just reply to this email and we'll get back to you right away. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great week.